Hey guys, in this video review, we're talking about Garden of Life's raw protein and greens. If you know anything about vegan protein powders, then I'm sure you've seen this before. Perhaps you've tried it. Uh, we have reviewed this product a couple years ago, and uh, we had kind of mixed results with uh, how we felt about the taste. Uh, however, Garden of Life, not too long ago, I think it was maybe towards the uh, start of 2017, maybe end of 2016, uh, they revamped a lot of their products, uh, specifically improving the taste. Um, so we wanted to try this again and uh, do another re review on it and kind of see what the difference was. Um, before, uh, the takeaway was it was overly sweet and uh, the stevia was a little too intense, had that kind of lingering aftertaste, um, but it's, it's dramatically improved across all three flavors. Um, so we've tried vanilla here. Uh, they also have a lightly sweet, which does not contain any stevia, and then they have a chocolate. So uh, to first talk about some of the ingredients, you know, as the name implies, uh, it has a lot of greens in it. The uh, protein blend itself, uh, is primarily pea and rice, but it also has uh, spinach, chia, alfalfa juice of all things, uh, broccoli, uh, and a couple other ingredients. So it's it's a pretty robust protein blend. Um, the amino acid profile contains uh, all essential amino acids. Uh, as for branch chain amino acids, you're getting about 3.6 uh, grams of BCAAs per serving. Uh, so not a ton. Garden of Life does make a sport uh, plant-based protein powder, which has closer to five and a half grams of BCAAs. So if you're uh, an elite athlete, you might want to steer towards that product. Uh, but still, this is an outstanding product, especially if you're um, not quite getting uh, enough fruits and vegetables throughout the day. It's a nice supplement for that. Um, aside from the, the protein composition, it does, it does also have uh, Garden of Life's raw enzyme blend, um, our probiotic and enzyme blend, which is also kind of a nice addition, uh, especially if you're athletic and you're looking to optimize recovery. Um, so th those are kind of consistent uh, factors in, in each flavor, um, but what makes each flavor different, obviously, is the, uh, the flavoring blend used for for each option. So for vanilla, they actually use organic vanilla flavoring. It's not um, just some kind of random natural flavoring that could be extracted from, I don't know, a beaver. <laughs> I've, I've heard that before, but um, it's, um, it's real. It's real stuff. It's natural stuff. Um, all products or all flavors in this product line are 100% organic, non-GMO. So if you're a conscious consumer in that respect, this is a great product. Um, aside from that, uh, for the basics, you know, you're getting 20 grams of protein per serving and, um, we just tried the sample packets, um, but you can get a, a tub of this. It's like one pound, three ounces, um, on Amazon, which contains, uh, 20 servings in a tub. So, um, overall pretty, pretty good amount. Most products either have um, a little more or less than that, so it's, it's kind of right in the middle of the road. Um, but each flavor, uh, from a macronutrient standpoint, in terms of like how many um, grams of protein, or, or most of them all have the same protein, but uh, some have a little bit more carbohydrates. Uh, for instance, this flavor here for the, the lightly sweet, which again does not contain any stevia, uh, it uses real organic cane sugar. Uh, so it's it tastes really nice. It's, it's really smooth. Uh, it does have six grams of sugar per serving. So if you're looking for more of a, a low sugar, no sugar, or maybe ketogenic option, uh, this would not be one to choose. I would probably, again, lean towards that um, Garden of Life Sport protein. Um, that one is, is a little bit more ketogenic friendly. Um, but if you're looking for something that tastes really good and does not contain any stevia, I would highly recommend trying the uh, raw protein can, protein and greens, lightly sweet flavor. Uh, it's super delicious. It's not too sweet. It's well balanced. It works well in just about anything. Um, so I highly recommend this one. This one's probably one of my favorite protein powders, powders on the market right now. Um, the vanilla is a little bit sweeter. It's, it does use stevia. It's, um, 
it's a little bit more specific for the application um, as is the chocolate you know with chocolate it's probably not gonna work uh, great with like I don't know a very fruit forward smoothie maybe with a lot of berries I don't know maybe you like that sort of thing that's cool but uh, I would probably include this more in like a, a oatmeal combination or uh, maybe something a little bit more uh, dessertish or, or decadent um, but again it's using raw organic uh, cacao and uh, cho organic chocolate flavor so you're getting real flavor and agents as opposed to uh, other questionable ingredients um, so all in all it's it's an outstanding product each flavor is delicious so you kind of just go on what your preference is for me I prefer um, a little bit more natural leaning towards the side of vanilla flavors so that's why I like the lightly sweet and the vanilla um, but all in all it's an outstanding product it's very affordably priced uh, you can buy the tub for in the high 20s kind of low 30s depending on where you buy it from um, on Amazon I was seeing the tub go for uh, about 27 28 bucks in that range uh, and again you're getting 20 servings of uh, 20 grams of protein per serving so a, a pretty good bang for your buck overall uh, so that's garden of life raw protein and greens i appreciate you watching this slightly longer video than normal uh, but if you have any questions or a comment please leave them below and uh, also you can follow the uh, link below to the uh, to the full complete review that we've done on the blog so check that out and uh, thanks for watching